This is AIR. Artists in Residence Broadcasting. Coming to you once a week from New York City. My name is Emily Frankel, and I'm going to talk about the Vancouver Olympics for air broadcasting. I do a blog, it's called Ems Talkery, and I'd written about the two figure skaters that were going to be performing. I wrote about them on Valentine's Day because I found them very interesting, and I compared videos of them, looking at them very, very carefully. Well, the Figure skating finals were last night. They were interesting. The girl who won, his name is Kim Yuna, and she's from Korea. The girl who almost won, got a silver medal, is Mayo Osada, and she's from Japan. I think that Mayo Osada should have won. I don't think. I know based on my eye, my knowledge of dance, which is considerable, that Mayo is a better dancer. Well, when I saw them dance, I knew almost right away that the winner was going to be Kim, and that was because Kim is sexier. They're both 19. They're not sexy. They're not selling. They're both really lovely. They're 20 days apart, so they're very similar, young, cultish. But Kim has a confidence and a kind of sparkle and I know I'm great sort of sense that she projects. And that's probably because we've heard and we know that Korea, the government, everybody, the whole state, she is the probably the most famous person in Korea. And she has been told over and over again that she's beautiful, that she's protected. She has limousines and cars and gifts and fans wherever she goes. And I think that she's been told over and over again, she's the best in the world. And I know if you're told you're the best in the world, it does make a difference in how you perform. She is beautiful and she's movie star gorgeous. Mayo Asada, she's delicate, petite, they're both petite, but she's more fragile looking, more dainty, and she is a better dancer. Her extensions, her arabesque are prima ballerina level. And when I say prima ballerina, that means it's prima ballerina. Mayo's legs, arms, and torso are elastic and flexible. And her front extension, wow, her front extension, front extension. Here's a front extension. You hold your leg up like that. And she, most people just keep a hand underneath and hold it underneath. She didn't have to, it just stayed up there, and it was beautiful. And every once in a while, Mayo comes through with what I would call real dancing. You don't, you're not aware of the steps, it's just effortless and beautiful, and it's fluid and it flows. And that's very hard to come up occasionally with moments of real dancing when you're doing a full-length program on your ice skates and you're including things like triple axles. Kim, her legs are lovely. She is very, very well trained. She's just not quite as well trained or finished balletically. Mostly when you see her, you know that she enjoys competing. And she has this ability to play tiny little bits of character, a flare here and there, but the music goes ding, 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 and then she's ding, ding, ding. She changes her character quickly and has fun with it and you sense the fun and you, you're you thinking to yourself, Emily, what's the matter? This, this girl sounds like a winner. Yes, she did win. She is a winner. But I think of figure skating as an art. And I think that Mayo Asada is an artist and Kim is a wonderful performer. Kim was is a queen and Mayo is a struggling artist. Anyway, Scott Hamilton, who was the commentator, was a great commentator. He guided us through each of the wonderful things that they did and was able to give us what to look for and explain what was perfect and what was maybe not quite perfect and how the judging was done. But the other commentator is a girl named Sandra 
Bizik. And she was once a skater. She skated herself with her brother. And now she comment, makes comments with a very, very know-it-all authoritative tone. Hey, hey, hey. I do not think that's a good idea. Maybe I sound authoritative, but I don't have an authoritative tone like, well, I know. Maybe that's what I should have. Anyway, she, when Kim was finishing her performance, gasped and said, this is the greatest performance I have ever seen. Like, what? I thought that was awful. I thought that she was giving Kim Yunada, Yuna, the gold medal before Kim, before the other girl had a chance to dance. Anyway, I have a bone to pick with the fact of the handling of the Vancouver Olympics with the commentators that they had throughout the entire season in Vancouver. They were constantly talking about Canada for the Canadians, about the Canadian audience, about the Canadian cheers, about the Canadian background, about the family, more, more, more emphasis on where these people were from and where they were, how they came up in Canada. And I don't think that's appropriate. I think that the Olympics, local news isn't important. All these people come from all over the world and every athlete has strived all his life for the perfection that he has to have in order to perform in the Olympics. Anyway, I wish that Mayo Asada had won and I wanted you to know her name. This is Emily Frankel for Air Broadcasting, signing off. I'll see you next week with my husband, John Cullum. This is AIR. See you next week.